It's just about the only thing I've done really well today is set up this shot. And do you see this little, look at this. Do you see that sun flare right there? That's awesome. Hey guys, good Monday morning. We're getting a little late start uh, today because of our trip to the water park. We were all exhausted. Micah slept till like 8.30 this morning, which was awesome. Um, but our day is gonna start with some much needed tractor maintenance. Yeah. I'll show you the tractor we're working on today. You guys haven't seen this one yet. This is uh, this is the really important tractor. It's that one right there. Micah somehow broke it. So let's see if we can figure it out. Oh, and Roxy's begging to be on the video. There. Are you filming me? Yeah. <laughs> it's going all over in the camera and, and Okay, hang on. We are great at this and we put the board and tie it this up and get on this and quit tight and dump it out. So guys, I gotta tell you, sometimes letting the kid tool around on his tractor in the pasture is very, very entertaining. Today is one of those days. He's decided that he uh, was gonna carry his stuffed monkey out to show the goats the stuffed monkey. His problem is, is he keeps getting stuck. So, what well, would have taken like five minutes to go feed the uh, goats has taken like half an hour because I keep having to go over there and pull them out of the soft dirt. Um, but there's where he is now. He's stuck again, it looks like. He's stuck. All right. I guess I, I guess I'll go get him out. So I guess while Mike is constantly getting stuck with his tractor in the backyard, we'll come feed the ladies. Oop! Look at the chickens. It's a chicken stampede. And then they, of course, are the goats. So, that's what it looks like out here on the funny farm at about feeding time. You know, we feed uh, twice a day, and it's gotten to where, you know, all the animals come running to us when we get into the uh, enclosure there, so that's fun. It's always kind of a sight to see 10 chickens and everything come running towards you. Um, now that that is done, I legitimately have some some chores I need to do, and it's gonna start with that thing. Got a few logs I need to go pick up. Um, 
we had some pretty good wind and rain through here and it knocked down a tree or two so I've got to go pick up some of that stuff clean up and I think I'm gonna put some of the wood in the uh, enclosure maybe the goats will like to play with it we'll see who knows oh and Mike is still back there So it's been about a week since I've run the tractor. So real quick, I'm just gonna check fluids, make sure everything's still good, and then cross our fingers that it cranks. All right, the moment of truth. Sometimes she's a little cantankerous in the morning. Really need to get that solenoid checked out. So here's the disappointing thing. I bought that tractor and I know for a fact, Roxy, and I know for a fact that it has a brand new solenoid on it. And uh, occasionally I still have to get out and jump the contacts to get it to crank. So I'm um, not going to show you how I do that because um, I'm sure my granddad would be rolling in his grave if he saw me ever do that. You know, his idea was always a tractor needs to run. Um, and you should be able to just jump on it and turn the key. But in my case, despite the newly rebuilt motor and the brand new solenoid, installed by the way, at a John Deere dealership, um, sometimes I still need to jump the contacts, which is kind of upsetting. But I will get it there to the John Deere dealership here pretty soon and have them take a look at it. I'm hoping it's under some sort of warranty. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it was only done about a year ago, so hopefully they'll fix it. I um, also don't know if it's true or not. Um, my granddad always said you needed to let it run a little bit before you jumped on it, so it's back there running. Um, I guess I need to come over here and probably grab Micah, get Micah out of the backyard. Yep. He's, uh, he's stuck again. This time he's dangerously close to the uh, sprinkler on the septic system. So, oh, there he goes. He got it. My granddad always said two things about tractors. One was you needed to run them a little bit before you uh, worked them. And two was you need to run them often because otherwise, well, this happens. Well, foiled by mother nature again. We have got a uh, storm of brewing, evidently. So I don't guess I'm going to get any of the yard mode or bush hogged. Um, wind has picked up, it started to rain, and I'm still trying to put air in the tire on the tractor. Put slime in it, now we're trying to air it up. Um, but this is what a storm looks like here on the homestead. It's almost pretty, isn't it? And our, uh, our poor goats, I think, are kind of freaking out. Oh, no, they're under shelter. They're good. 
Can you see him out there? They're just gonna bed down for the night or for the day. Our chickens are still up here. So, been a couple of days of failure out here on the homestead. After my failures yesterday with the uh, plumbing, thought a little bit of slime might fix that tire on the tractor and it's just not going to do it. So I'm going to have to pack that thing up and take it to the tire repair place here. But while I did have a little bit of air in the tire, I did manage to bring a couple of big logs out here to the goat pen. And these, these, these goats are just loving it. Well, they got camera shy since I walked out here, but they were both just on top of that thing playing around, frolicking, having a good old time. It was just about the cutest thing ever. But now they're just gonna kind of, I guess, guard it. I don't know what they're doing out there, but they're not, they're not leaving it. I tried even shaking a feed bucket and they didn't want anything to do with it. They just wanna sit right there next to their new pile of logs. Really, Roxy? Gotta do that while I got the camera on you? I was just about to tell him about how cute you were. You ain't gonna go off and do that. Not even cool, dog. Not even cool. Well, guys, I hate that the last couple of vlogs have just been chronicling my failures here at the farm. And uh, on my way out here to feed the chickens and the goats and everything else kind of thought about how we were going to close this one out and my my first thought was to rant about how angry I was or upset I was or how I hoped you weren't too disappointed in the fact that you know wasn't able to fix the plumbing stuff I thought I would and I wasn't able to fix get the tractor going um, hopefully you're not watching my videos to get some sort of world changing advice because I'm afraid well I'm just not going to have it um, but sometimes life is about failure sometimes life is about frustrations and I sure hope to not ever keep this a secret maybe you've flipped over for the first time and you don't know us or know what we're about but Amy and I we believe that there's a God that created this earth and we believe that that same God sent his only son to die on a cruel cruel cross for us um, and we believe that through the act of salvation and relationship with Christ that we can have a relationship with God and as I read my Bible I see a lot of people in there that to the world standards failed. Um, see the Apostle Paul who starts life persecuting and killing Christians um, and goes on to write the vast majority of what we now know as the New Testament. Arguably the single most um, recognized figure in all of the Bible other than maybe Jesus and God. Just about everybody knows Paul. So in closing, just want to tell you guys, hey, failures are going to happen. And failures can be hugely, hugely frustrating things. Um, certainly not everything we put to ground is always going to work. And that's okay. As long as we keep our focus on family, God, and, well, the lifestyle we all share then you know what we're gonna be okay and um, preaching to the choir here but don't let our frustrations and our failures and our doubts ruin our attitudes or or our commitments or change who we are it's just about the only thing I've done really well today 
has set up this shot. And do you see this little, look at this. Do you see that sun flare right there? That's awesome. So, anyways, I hope that you have found some sort of rest or peace in the idea that, hey, we don't have it together either. All right, we're, we're experimenting and trying to get through this just as much as everybody. Uh, so, anyways, now's that shameless plug. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more uh, videos of life on the homestead and encouragement and chickens and goats. One of them's about to peck me. I know it. Um, and then, of course, follow us on our Facebook page. Link is in the top of the description box below. So check that out. And then keep an eye on the channel. Um, click the little bell button next to the subscribed button. That will send you a notification anytime we post a picture or a photo or video or anything like that. You can do that on Facebook as well as here on YouTube. Um, and that's hugely important because there are some cool, exciting things happening here. Not involving plumbing. I promise. Alright, so hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Facebook. We love you. God bless. Thanks for watching.